They're called at a moment's notice, flying off to help treat and transport patients in critical condition. Up next, Craig Coffey takes off with Flight for Life for an up-close look at this state-of-the-art mobile ICU. Good morning. Well, transporting patients to the most appropriate medical facilities within Colorado's trauma system, Flight for Life's combination of skill, technology, and speed makes a big difference in their pursuit to save lives. Now, starting back in 1972 as the nation's first hospital-based air ambulance system, with four bases throughout the state, they serve the 271,000 square miles of Colorado, as well as nine other states in the Rocky Mountain region. Flight for Life also assists in search and rescue operations along with avalanche deployment. And as you'll see, their routine is nothing short of extraordinary. Well, we really have two main things that we're trying to do. One is we want to bring the best medical care to the patient wherever they are. Then the second part of it is we want to get that patient to the ER as fast as possible. Okay, my walk around is good. The doors are secure and my crew equipment is all secure. With 850 horsepower turbine engines, it's the American Eurocopter AS350B3. Venturing farther, faster, and higher than any other rescue aircraft in the Rockies. And on call 24-7, Flight for Life can get the call and be airborne at a moment's notice. Each helicopter does 150 mile radius, so generally we're in communication with um, our comm center and the ground crews, so they know how long it will be before we get there. A lifeguard 3, about an hour and 35 on the gas. And if you would, uh, when you get a uh, ground contact for me, would you pass that on? We'll do it so we're on the line now. Thank you. As a lifeline for many of the almost 90,000 transports, there is one constant that remains a critical factor. Time, time sensitive, everything's time, time, time. So if you think about it, if you're on the side of Pikes Peak having chest pain and you're waiting for a ride down Pikes Peak to get to the hospital, that's a long time. If we can get you to the ER fast enough, we can make a big difference. Comp Center, lifeguard three, landing on scene in two. When you get to a scene, you just want to have a good rapport with the ground crews, but you want to know what's going on, and they're kind of looking to you as like, hey, you're here now, we want you to do something and take this patient and go. Each Flight for Life carries a crew of highly trained professionals made up of the pilot, one critical care nurse, and one advanced practice paramedic, all working in sync with one common goal of saving lives. They want to see you do things that they couldn't provide for this patient. All aircrafts are state-of-the-art flying emergency rooms, providing the most current medical technology and intensive care treatments while on board. Springs approach, lifeguard three. Lifeguard three, springs approach. Lifeguard three, 7,100 uh, to Penrose, Maine. Every pilot has several thousand hours of flight time and intensive experience. They decide when it's safe to fly. Although any member of the crew can cancel a flight if something just doesn't feel right. But more often than not, Flight for Life is soaring the skies of Colorado, getting the job done. We really pride ourselves on our safety, and that that comes without saying. It's it's fundamental. Lifeguard three, Roger, caution, wake turbulence. Lifeguard three. Sometimes we get where we're going. It might be a little more bumpy. The winds may be a little more treacherous, or the terrain may cause the wind to do different things than what is forecast. One of the problems we have in Colorado is geography, yeah. where the place is spread out, it's long drive times from place to place, and there are inconvenient things like mountains in between where the patient is and where the hospital is. And Flight for Life cuts through all that red tape and gets the patient here as fast as possible. Secure for landing. Oh, secure. Square right. both secure over here. Okay. Four landing check looks good. Flying this helicopter and knowing that you're moving uh, a sick patient or a person in need, I'm getting the care to that patient and that's so self-gratifying at this at this point in my career. You have to talk to the patients. They tell us all the time we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Flight for Life and we hear that all the time and you know there are cases that are like that. Lifeguard 3, radar service terminated. Lifeguard 3. How cool is their job? Yeah. I always notice. It's I was telling amazing. you this during your story yeah. that the Flight for Life helicopters, we always take notice, you know, whether they're landing right. or we know that they've helped someone right. in need. Absolutely. Right, right. Yeah, something severe. Uh, uh, you know, they also help transport patients too, not just go out on rescue missions. Hmm but also help transport yeah. from, uh, you know, hospital to hospital. Uh, children are a big 
uh, reason they travel. Wow. Going to Denver for the Children's Hospital good too. Stuff. So yeah, eight you people. talk about the topography, and you've got to be a good pilot to navigate yeah. through some yeah. topography right yeah. here. Winds can do whatever they want. Yeah. So yeah. good for them.